Donier, DO-31, VTOL Experimental Jet Transport. Concerned that a Cold War conflict might destroy existing runways and render its airfields unusable, the West German government presented aircraft manufacturers with a daunting challenge. Develop a vertical takeoff and landing transport aircraft. Donia rose to the challenge and began designing what would become the DU-31, a transport jet capable of carrying 36 troops at speeds of up to 351 knots at 35,000 feet. Other jet-powered VTOL aircraft had successfully flown at the time, but were small, tactical and experimental times. Hawker had successfully built and flown the P-1127 with its swiveling nozzles at, on its engine, which evolved into the Harrier attack aircraft. Other manufacturers also had built similarly small VTOL jets, such as the Dassault Balzac 5, the short SC-1, and EWR VJ-101. However, no manufacturer had had successfully integrated VTOL capabilities with a cargo platform. Dornier evaluated the existing market to see if any off-the-shelf engines could be utilized. With such a limited selection of usable options, it didn't take them long to decide on the Rolls-Royce Pegasus. As used in the Harrier, but unlike the Harrier, the engines would be mounted in the underwing nacelles. With wing-mounted engines suspending the aircraft in vertical flight, a significant challenge presented itself. Unlike propeller-driven designs like the Boeing MB-22 Osprey and Donier's own TO-29, there was no way to mechanically transfer engine power from one engine to the other. So, how to maintain control in the event of an engine failure? Donier's solution was to add additional engines to the winter. But there was no suitable off-the-shelf option and Rolls-Royce was contacted to design and build the RB162 turbojet. The small RB162 weighed only 280 pounds but produced 4,409 pounds of thrust. Tonier placed four of these engines on each wingtip pylon. This not only satisfied the thrust requirements, but more importantly, enabled to maintain control in the event of a main engine failure. As outlined by NASA, the effect of a wingtip engine failure would be small and can easily be compensated. NASA found that the aircraft can be balanced and a thrust weight ratio in excess of one can be developed. A look at the reference charts indicate this would be true in cool temperatures, but still proves the design concept. Dornier ultimately succeeded in flying the 49,500-pound DO-31 both in the traditional fixed-wing aircraft regime and as well as in the VTOL flight. Four prototypes were built and went on to set several world records. The technical and financial demands of the procuring and maintaining the aircraft proved insolvable and with limited global demand, the DL-31 did not attract significant interest from potential customers. The program was shut down in 1970. Well, the Donier 31 did not progress beyond experimental stage, it remains a notable example of innovation and exploration. The knowledge gained from the DO-31 program has contributed to advancement in VTOL technology over the years.